Here's, here's a striking thought. Don't you just hate it when someone says, it, are you all right, when you cough? Have you ever had, well, we probably don't have that nowadays, but <coughs> I've got a bit of a dry cough at the minute, and someone says, oh, bloody hell, are you all right? Do you need IVs? No. <laughs> have you never had that before? I've had smokers I've... cough. When someone goes, yeah. oh, smokers cough, and I'm, I feel like just ripping their head clean off the shoulders. <laughs> yeah. But they don't know, do they? I mean, to us, it's going to be um, obviously annoying, but... It, I can't help but think people have distanced themselves from me in the past because they go away, Google CF and shit themselves, you know what I mean, and think the worst straight away. And that, that's always pissed me off. Like. As in, for them for them emotionally, if they think you're going to die, they don't want to get close to you because they're scared of catching something. Which one? Uh, the former, but sometimes the latter as well. Um, I Yeah, I've had that feeling in the past. I think I had it in high school. So they've obviously gone away, find out what CF was, mm. and they've been like, oh, I'm not being friends with him because he might not be around for much longer. You know what I mean? I've had that. Mm. And I've always thought it's because I might have smelt or something like that. <laughs> You've got some really emotionally uh, emotionally strong friends, you, mate. My mind just takes a mick out of me. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I'd say, I'd say acquaintances. It's never been friends. I mean, like, friend of a friend. or I don't know. I can't explain it. I can't give an example. But, yeah, it's not happened for about 10 years, so that's all right. I think um, with friends, I had um, a few friends dropping off because they don't understand that because I look well, and you guys probably get it as well, because you look healthy on the outside, you'll say to people, do you know what, I can't come out tonight because I'm exhausted and, you know, I'm tired or I'm ill. And they'll be like, oh, you're using that one again, are you? But it, yeah. the fatigue is a, is, a, is a level that people don't understand, I think. And I've lost friends through that because they've stopped mm-hmm. inviting me to places on you know, Chris never comes, Chris will let us down and stuff. Even though you say to him, listen, I might come, but there might be reasons why I can't. It seems like in the past, and I've got a lot of understanding on that. So I've lost friends that way. Mm. It's mm. difficult to tell, isn't it? Really difficult to tell. Mm. But I don't think we'll have that problem going forward, which is odd, because we're older now. Yeah. Yeah. I can't get my head around it. I know it's a bit of a cliche, that, but I can't get my head around it. So it's weird. What we're experiencing now is a complete opposite to, well, in my case, it's the complete opposite to what I was expecting to go. I was expecting to be down the gym every night at this age, fighting hard, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Instead, I'm stuffing my face and getting a big belly. <laughs> well, I was saying to live before. I was saying, uh, I was like, at what age now do me and you live? Let ourselves just get fat. <laughs> and eat what we want and enjoy ourselves, do you know what I mean? Because we've been working out for... Mm. I've been working out for years now, 34. Like, am I going to wait till 60 until I go, right, sack it, let the boobies come? Like, yeah. I'm struggling now with what age I'm going to just stop. Because before it was like, like you said, it's keep healthy through the gym to make yourself feel better. But now I feel good regardless of whether I'm in the gym or not. Probably better, to be honest, when I'm not in the gym. I feel more physically yeah. um, able and stuff because of less fatigue now when I don't go gym, mm. which yeah. is weird. Maybe it's all the doms that you're creating. <laughs> it probably is, isn't it? It's tiredness. It's like yeah. emulating the tiredness of CF again by absolutely levering my body. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I think in my, in my personal experience, I had the same questions to myself until I had a kid and then I wasn't asked about the belly coming. Because yeah, it's yeah. very difficult to do both. So maybe you might be the same. Yeah, I, I can see that, to be honest, because of the time and obviously you, you've got a child to look after. To be honest, I don't think I'll be as keen on the gym. Yeah, that's why I started doing stuff at home because I'm, I remember when he was about six months, I was sat at the gym and I realised, shit, what am I doing here? I should be at home. And this was straight from work. Yeah, yeah. And I left it home and I never looked back after that. I've been doing stuff at home instead. Do you reckon that'll change when he gets a bit older? Uh, well, it's changing a little bit now because I realise that I need to get fit again. But I much prefer to do it at home so he's there, so I can see him and not miss anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah.